If you are in the United Arab Emirates and you're using food delivery platforms like Uber Eats, Karim Now, Deliveroo, Zomato, Talabat or others, this is what you need to know about how they work and what's in it for you as a user. Delivery. How many times have you called a restaurant that you've ordered directly from and they say the food is on the way and you call 20 minutes later and they give you the same excuse. The difference when you order, you have a driver. When you order from the food marketplace, you have a driver assigned to you. That's your driver who goes directly to the restaurant and waits until the food is ready. He or she picks it up and they go directly to your house or office and they deliver the food to you. That shortens the amount of time needed for uh, the delivery and also has a higher chance of getting the food hot and fresh. You're also able to pay with the uh, app of the food marketplace. This way when the driver comes, it's, a, it's an exchange. You can even tip them, tip the driver within the app. This way there's no cash on you. Do we have the cash at home? Do we have the need to change? And so on. So it's a simple transaction of thank you and you, and you pick up the, the food and, and that's about it. So the payment processing is a contributor as well. The variety of food and the uh, different options that are available, the searching capability, the navigation, especially when you're not sure what you want, what you want to eat and from where, and uh, the menus are clear, uh, decent pictures, decent images, offers. The food marketplaces are competing a lot with each other, so you get a lot of offers. Uh, it could be anywhere from 10, 15, 20% off uh, the, food, uh, the food price, and sometimes uh, there have been offers for a short period of time that lead to 50 and 60% reduction in the price of the food, not the delivery, the food itself. So if you have an order of 100 dirhams and with 60% off, that's a significant saving when it comes to your food, especially when uh, you're like me, uh, you rarely re eat at home, you're mostly at the office or at work and in different places. So uh, the food delivery costs tend to add up. So having uh, uh, offers like that definitely, definitely uh, help. Customer service, not all of the food marketplaces do it well. The ones that do it well, they have a quick response time. What they do is uh, they, they credit your account with the problem. So not, not only the delivery uh, amount, which tends to be small, around seven dirhams or, or 10 dirhams, depending on where you live. It, uh, it's actually, uh, if, if there's a problem with the dish and it's a 35 dirham dish, they credit your account uh, uh, with that dish. Not all of them are like this, but you tend to figure out when you have incidents who you're comfortable dealing with from a customer support pr perspective and not, and that affects the retention. Who do you come back and use versus the others?